Shalom brothers and sisters. Furor erupts in Brazil after the Archbishop gives communion to a Muslim sheikh. <laughs> Sao Paulo, during a funeral mass of a major figure in the Brazilian church on August the 28th, a Muslim sheikh ended up receiving communion, sparking controversy amongst part of the local community and traditional Catholics all over Brazil who called what happened a sacrilege. Footage of the Mass aired by the Cathedral of Ladrina showed Sheikh Ahmad Saleh Mahairi, a leading member of the Brazilian Sunni community and a longtime friend of Agnilo, approach the altar to receive communion. Steinmetz gave him the host and Mahairi did not put it in his mouth but walked off with it in his hand. People in uproar, firstly because how's a Muslim receiving communion, not having a relationship with Jesus Christ, not having a conversion moment, not nothing. And even for the Catholics, this is just total blasphemy. And then walking off with the communion piece, which unfortunately the Catholics believe is the literal body of Christ, which I'm sorry to inform you, it is not. Um, no, and don't even get me started. So... Yes, I agree. If you read your Bible properly, you should approach the table when breaking bread and wine and taking communion. You should approach it very carefully and you should be ready to partake of it because it is something special and we are remembering what he did for us on the cross. It's not something you just partake of because in doing so, it says some have partaken sickness and death. So you can't just mess around with it even when you've done it correctly, which in this case, I'm sorry, they didn't. But point being, how does a non-believer, just willy-nilly, and not just a non-believer, a supporter and proponent and pusher of another religion, so therefore a false religion, is now partaking of your communion with you? I don't understand. I think if anything, you should have a lot of red flags going off in your head. And again, people, this comes back to getting back into the word yourself and getting back into what the Lord is actually saying in the New Testament and breaking away from a lot of these ingrained traditions that have been bolted into the church, the bigger church, that shouldn't be there, that have some weird connections that just don't work. Get back to a pure love and relationship with Jesus Christ. And even then, approach carefully and with reverence when we remember what the Lord did for us at Calvary. God bless. Keep looking up. Shalom.